two years, my hair hardly used to grow. Um, it was sort of consistent at shoulder length. And then I changed things up a little bit. They were very minor changes that I made. So in the last six months, my hair has actually grown this much. So around six inches. Um, which has been quite miraculous for me. And I thought I'd share these little tips with you because they were so easy and hardly required any effort. Hi, my name is Sahani and welcome to my YouTube channel. Do press the subscribe button and stay connected to me. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at suhani.gandhi. So as a model and an actor, um, my hair has gone through a lot of damage, um, be it on shoot where you have all the styling, so heat damage, um, hairspray, chemicals, all of that, or sometimes they want you to dye your hair a specific color. All of that means that your hair goes through a lot of stress. I remember on one shoot, and I'm gonna put a, a picture here somewhere, um, they wanted to crimp my hair. So that took like an hour and a half, really slowly crimping every strand of hair. And my hair was literally this thick. Um, and even after washing my hair, it still stayed the same. So of course this led to a lot of hair fall, hair just not growing, um, not feeling healthy, not feeling thick, and I've always had very thick hair, but that's um, changed because of all the styling. I did some research, made five very small basic changes. Number one, I use the mane and tail shampoo. I know this is gonna sound really weird, it's actually a horse shampoo, but it's been adapted for humans. And um, I, I gave it a shot because I'd read so many good reviews about it. My friend recommended it to me, and then um, hairstylists were talking about it as well. And I even read that Jennifer Aniston uses it. And now that I think of it, her hair does sort of look like a horse's tail. But anyway, um, this shampoo is worth a shot. It may or may not work for you, but for most people, it's made the hair very thick and um, maybe a bit coarse and dry, but you can always sort that out with conditioner. Um, and it's really encouraged a lot of hair growth. This shampoo is super affordable and the bottle goes a long way. Number two, a cold shower blast at the end um, of your shower. So this um, is actually quite fun once you um, get the hang of it. Um, of course, it's more fun in hot climates than colder ones, but either way, you get used to it. This is great because it helps boost circulation in your scalp and it's great for your skin as well because it closes your pores. Um, so this is just a great tip in general. A 10 second blast is good enough, so start with that. Number three, putting oil in your hair. I cannot stress this enough. If you grew up in an Indian household, you know why this matters so much. This is an Ayurvedic technique and it's just the best thing you can do. Not only does it provide nourishment for your hair follicles um, and increases circulation, it also helps you relax and sleep better. So what I do is I put um, oil on the night before, sleep with it, make sure I have a towel on the pillow so it doesn't get too messy, and then wash it in the morning. And I think leaving it overnight really helps your scalp absorb all of that goodness. Um, be careful about the oil you use though, because a lot of them have chemicals and mineral oil in it, which is not good for you at all. The one I use is called Mahabring Raj Oil, and it's a product of India, but you can get it off Amazon as well. And it smells a little funny, but you do get used to it, and after a while, you actually start liking the smell. Um, it's, it smells of herbs, and if you're into essential oils, I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. But this was probably the most important, important, important factor for my hair growing. Um, it also feels super healthy and nourished and soft, and you'll feel the difference instantly in one wash. Number four, green leafy vegetables. I actually didn't take any extra supplements for the hair, so I didn't take biotin, which I've heard is really good, so maybe you wanna give that a shot. But I think having a diet which is rich in iron, zinc, magnesium, vitamins, um, omega-3s, fatty acids, it's going to help you. I loved making these kale smoothies. Kale, of course, is so rich in iron. And I put a banana, kale, some sort of milk, so almond milk, oat milk, or coconut milk, and some peanut butter. Or, additionally, if you have a good smoothie mixer, then um, nuts, so like I just put almonds in. And uh, this was a really tasty drink for me to have around 4 or 5 p.m. when I'm a bit peckish. And of course that was a part of like pretty much my daily routine. So the kale smoothie really helped and I also increased my intake of nuts and seeds. Number five, doing a headstand. This might sound 
a bit funny again and there is conflicting opinion on this um, so not all people agree that doing a headstand will increase your hair growth but um, I feel like it's worked for me I've been doing it almost every day for the past few months and um, it does stimulate blood circulation to the head not only that but it relaxes you so much and yoga in general is just so good for your mind and your body um, so if you can put in a bit of yoga into your daily life you'll see the difference in the way you look and the way you feel. And I feel the latter is more important. If you are feeling good from within, it's just going to show from the outside. That's it, these are the five changes I made to grow my hair and um, I definitely saw the results. In six months, I saw around six inches of growth. So give these little tricks a shot. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And here's to having nice, healthy hair.